actual schooling started throughout high school. I went to a private Catholic school and throughout the end of that time frame of me being in that school, I was starting to work in the funeral home on a day-to-day -day basis throughout my summers. And I actually got to learn my initial steps of what it's like to work in a funeral home, what it's like to meet with families in different capacities because I started off meeting with families at the time of their loved one's transition, bringing their loved ones into the funeral home. And then I transitioned on to college at Loyola University. While working at Loyola, I still continued to do those things that I work, was doing at the funeral home prior to, but I started to climb up and start doing more tasks and having more responsibilities such as driving a hearse, driving a limo, talking to people throughout the service to help make sure that they're actually comfortable during their time of bereavement. And then I finally transitioned to going to the Community College of Baltimore County for mortuary school where I spent about three years through that process of learning, educating myself, making sure that I was properly prepared for the ambitions and, ambitions and the goals that I set forth for myself to become a funeral director. As far as my education, I went to John Jay and received my bachelor's there in criminal justice, but I wanted to be a mortician, so I went to CCBC to get my degree there. So as far as my schooling, I went to CCBC for their Mortuary Science program here in uh, Maryland. Mortuary School, I went to the Gupton Jones College of Funeral Service, which is located in Decatur, Georgia, which is also the Harvard School of Funeral Services. If you know, you know. Uh, currently, I just wrapped up my degree in funeral service management that I obtained from Mid-Atlantic College of Funeral Service, and I will be graduating with a bachelor's degree in funeral service management and also a certificate in thanatology. I decided to be a mortician because I decided to change career paths. I was in nursing school and wanted to stay in healthcare and do something different to help care for people. Well, what made me want to be a mortician is that when I was younger, my dad actually wanted to be a funeral director. Um, he wasn't able to fulfill his dream, but he also instilled that in me at a young age. And I just took it on. Um, from the early, my early ages, this is the only thing that I was told that I was going to do, and I believed it, and that's what I wanted to do, and that's how I got into it. Um, it was a local funeral home in my neighborhood. I used to see the guys coming in and out the building. You know, I loved the mystique about them. You know, I love how they was moving and I wanted to know more. I wanted to learn more. And I just kind of gravitated to the profession in, in, in that way. And the more I learned about the profession, the more I found, found myself falling in love with the profession. So that's why I do what I do today. I did not have any aspirations to be a mortician whatsoever for a long period of time, unlike other people who are in this field. My mother told me I needed a job when I was about 16, 17 years old because I used to go away for a while, and now I finally spent my summers at home and she didn't like that. She told me to ask my uncle for a job. I never asked him anything, I just stayed away for a while. She came back about a week later, said, you need a job. I said, okay, I'll do something. Then the next week she came back and said, your uncle said you start on Monday. And I had to get a suit and everything and prepare myself to start working at the funeral home. And I steadily started working at the funeral home doing little jobs and it just progressed on and on. And after a certain point, once I was in college at Loyola University, I started finding that the field that I was going towards was not what I was, intention what I was planning for in my future and the funeral home was everything that I needed from the people that worked there, the people that I met with, and I just figured this is where I belong. And I just made, I just set forth on the path to become a funeral director from then on. Well, unfortunately, I had experience with death early on in life. And the experience that my family received during that process was very uncomforting. So I wanted to be able to be that person to bring a different experiences to others going through what I was going through. To balance my work life, I enjoy running. Running is something I do, it relieves stress and it's a passion for me. And I also just completed my first marathon, 26.2 miles, yay me! What are some things I do for my work-life balance? I am actively involved in CrossFit. Uh, I have a 14-year-old daughter, so she keeps me very busy as well with high school and her activities. For work-life balance for me, um, I like to read, I love to travel the world whenever I can, and spend time with my family and friends. For work-life balance, I like to make sure that once I finish up at the funeral home, 
I can end off my day there, move towards going home and figuring out what my family itself has going for me throughout the rest of the night. I might play some video games with my nephews or some friends. I might go out and meet with people so that I can end off the funeral home day, close it out, transition into a new stage of mind for the rest of the night so that I can get back to being a funeral director of mortician during the day with the highest capacity. So I understand that you're the only family member still living, but there's also a life that needs to be celebrated. There was a life that's lived and there's a life that still needs to be celebrated. We don't wanna let that pass by. 